What is this brass item that seems to fit around the hand? It's very old, and it can slide open to adjust for hand sizes. However, it's locked in place, so you can only see part of the info about what it is. The info shown is Nivers, Pat, AW, Brink, and Upper. It would be nice to know what the rest should say, but I was unable to find anything on it. Any ideas? It's a hand corn husker. Patented on February 21st, 1882, by Alexander W. Brinkerhoff of Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Huskers and shuckers must have been very common at the turn of the century, although one made without leather may have been unusual. This one came out of a small town museum. They speculated that it may be a salesman's sample, likely due to condition. What is this thing made of metal and quite heavy? It's maybe 30 centimeters long, it looks to be handmade and old. I found it in my derm's bathroom, with what seems to be an ancient Greek vase, a clay owl, and a small figure in the same material as this piece. Any idea what it is for? It's a Greek bronze mirror, but this is a replica and a modern one too. I'm an archeologist. I handle copper alloy objects. The weathering pattern here is wrong for it to be anything but a modern manufactured object, given an antique look. You see how the recessed areas are still brassy in color, and all the green is on the raised areas. That's the exact opposite of where the verdigris should be. The recessed parts should be green, and the raised parts where the object has been handled should be burnished and brassy. The weathering agent has probably been applied with a cloth, which hasn't deposited any in the cracks. What is this unknown piece of furniture with a tap and pump? The top containing the handle and tap doesn't connect to the cupboard below. The handle doesn't move and can seem to open the top. The back of the item is not open and is covered with a thin piece of wood. The base is hollow and seems to act as a stand. I found it in a local auction. It's 1.5 meters tall and about 30 centimeters deep. My research hasn't really turned up much. Any ideas? It's a Victorian beer engine. However, it seems someone has removed the internal mechanism and replaced it with a shelf instead. It was built into or clamped to the bar and the pump was used to draw the beer up from the casks in the basement below the bar. Beer engines of this era would have had brass cylinders along with leather washers and lead pipes. What is this large metal sphere on a stand with a dial and cords attached? I found it in an abandoned Soviet factory in Armenia. It looks like it may open, and there are handles on either side of the opening. Any information would be greatly appreciated. This is an integrating sphere circa 1920s. Inside has a highly reflective white coating used for light measurement, and sometimes other experiments around light. This one was probably used more for commercial than research. I imagine testing household light bulbs. What is this thing that looks like a syringe, but doesn't seal and has no opening? We've had this for decades and nobody could figure it out. It's probably aluminum, about 20 centimeters long, 1.5 centimeters in diameter, and there's no writing or inscriptions. It feels like 1950s era aluminum, as it is fairly light for its size, unlike the heft stainless steel would have. The slider moves up and down the central stanchion, but not very smoothly, and pulling the slider up opens the chamber. Any information about it would be much appreciated. It's a cream dipper for skimming bottled milk. Patented on January 2nd, 1912 by Lot Mansfield and sold by the Schappen Modified Cream Dipper Company of Boston, Massachusetts. This tool was invented to aid in the removal of cream from the top of milk bottles for use in coffee and cereal. It was also used by mothers in preparing modified milk for their infants and children. The bottom of the cone is opened while pushed into the cream. When the device is fully submerged, the cone tip is then closed against the cylinder and lifted out of the milk bottle to remove one full ounce scoop of cream from the bottle. I got this at a thrift store. It's fascinating and hypnotic. The yellow spoke wheel spins, and I'm sure it serves a purpose, but I have no idea what. It's made of metal or metal alloys, and I was told it was a fishing reel component, but I don't know how that works. What is it? 
It's the original gyroscope by Tedco Toys, which has been in production pretty much unchanged since 1917. Insert a thread through the hole in the spindle and wrap it up. Pull it like starting a lawnmower, and it will do some freaky stuff like balance on the head of a pencil. We got them as kids at a museum store. What is this spoon hook thing I found at an antique store? It's made of brass, probably. The cup holds about 15 milliliters, about 25 centimeters long, and has circular scratch marks inside. It is too heavy for a regular spoon, and the circular scratch marks inside the cup indicate wear and use. I think it might be used as a hook, or perhaps a wax melter that is used for sealing envelopes with a wax seal, but it's not very practical as such. I really appreciate any help you can provide. It's definitely a candle snuffer. My grandfather held a patent for one in 1950. It had a clip built in to hold the match, and brass is a very common material for those. The circular wear marks inside are likely from manufacture or from scouring out soot, not from use for some other purpose. I found this iron needle with Arabic writing in a canal in the UK while magnet fishing. It's approximately 12 by 1 centimeter in size and is around the weight of a small paperweight. The writing is on the four longest sides and appears to be different from each other. And there is a small chalice or cup at the bottom of each text. Any info about what this might be would be helpful. It's a 19th century Indo-Persian Islamic talismanic iron nail. It's inscribed with Quranic verses from the Indian Persian region. It is typical for houses, especially in northern India and the border to Persia. These nails were driven normally at the corners of the building with the purpose of providing protection from evil spirits. In an auction in London in October of 2004, similar nails were estimated at 6,000 to 8,000 pounds. What is this pot I found at a thrift store? It is cast iron with no markings. The gray thing is an insert. And it seems to be a pot for cooking something, maybe? I do not know if it is supposed to have a lid or not. It had $40 on it, and it was not a known maker, so I left it. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.